for this live stream that people have kind of talked me into. And I actually have <clears throat> a kind of a Q&A thing. I've wrote down these little questions here. And what I'm going to do before I, you know, start answering any text or anything like that is I'm going to, and I don't know what, What is going on right now? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go through these questions right quick before I, you know, start commenting back on any of the uh, chat that's going on. So once this is over with, I'll be able to cut this down and uh, just have a Q&A kind of like that. So I'm not going to really be engaging any of that right now, but I do want to let you know. I do appreciate you guys stopping by right quick. You know, I have to get my live streams on early because I do get to bed a little early. Anyway, so let's get on to these questions. So these are just some questions that people have asked. And then I've kind of thrown in a few things on my own that, uh, you know, people may want to know, you know, later on down the line, we can kind of get into any other questions you guys might have. So let's get to it. Don't want to drag this out too long. Questions I've heard of you know, a bit uh, in some of my videos is how old am I? And I am going to be 50 on October 12th. So getting up there a little bit in age. So I'm 50, I'll be 50 here in about another week. Uh, what do I do for a living? And like I said, I'm gonna get to this chat here in a little bit. I am a mortgage banker been with the same company that I've been with since uh, 2002. So I've been there kind of a while. Like I'm like the old dog at my company. Uh, what is my favorite sports team? You know, Oakland Raider fan, but the way football has been this year primarily and going back to like the last five years or so, you know, there's more contact and, you know, high school girls feel hockey. So I'm really not checking for football all that much uh, lately. So I think I may have watched two quarters of football this year and I was just disgusted with it. So uh, anyway, I am a Raider fan still through and through. I may not watch it, but you know, if it keeps going the way it is. Uh, what smokers do I have? I've got two kettle grills two uh, flat top griddles. I have uh, Weber Smoky Mountain, Pit Barrel Cooker, Master Bill Electric Smoker, Weber Smoky Mountain, if I didn't say that. Anyway, a bunch of them. Anyway, I hope that covered it all. Oh, and an offset smoker. That's my favorite one right there. But the setup of this house is a little hard for me to get to that. Uh, just because I got to go down all these stairs and go out there. and But I am going to get back on that. And for those of you guys that just came in, I am going to be answering these questions before I actually go ahead, before I actually start getting into what's going on in the chat, just so I can get these questions out of the way. Uh, somebody asked me what my favorite kitchen appliance is. And above anything, above the air fryers, above the pressure cookers, all that stuff, my favorite thing in my kitchen is my sink. Okay, you don't need to really chime in. Thank you, though. Is my sink and our uh, faucet. So I have one of those, like, industrial kind of faucets. That thing is the bomb. And I got the big sink. Not the little thing that has, like, a little one on this side and a little one on this side. I could put like a bunch of stuff in this one big sink and it's like a black granite sink. It's all that. That's my favorite. Uh, it's not an appliance, but that's my favorite thing in the kitchen. Uh, favorite smokers. You know what? I'm really starting to get into that Weber 26 inch kettle grill. I know my man, AB smoking and grilling with AB is, uh, you know, he went out and bought the 22. You know, that's a nice little smoker. That'll get it done for you. But uh, no, I like the 26 and I really do like that offset smoker. And it's been a while since I've been on that. And sometimes them, uh, the, you know, the kettle grills with that slow and sear 
makes you lazy as well as some of those uh, those uh, pellet smokers will make you lazy too. So anyway, and these are kind of in random orders. I'm just trying to go through them as I see them. Uh, favorite quotes, okay? So there's a bunch of favorite quotes that I have. Uh, one of them is you can't skip the struggle. And I think that's the problem with some of these younger people coming up these days is they feel like, you know, they don't have to struggle to get what they get. And I remember being so broke when I first moved out here from California that I was stupid enough to go get a cat. I don't know what made me go get a cat, but I was so broke at one point that I actually tried to feed my cat dog food that was given away free at the, uh, at the supermarket or something like that. So uh, it's times like that that make me actually appreciate what I'm, you know, where I'm at right now. So that's one, can't skip the struggle. Second one, a uh, dollar saved is better than a dollar earned because you don't pay tax on that dollar that you saved. Um, you know, another one is, is one that just came up from uh, my boy Mike at Everyday Barbecue. He, gave, he put me up on this one right here, and it's a drowning man can't save a drowning man. And it kind of almost goes back to the whole theory, like, you know what, if you're on a plane, the plane's about to crash, you know, put the mask on yourself before you put it on somebody else. But you know what, that's one right there. You have a lot of people that feel like they want to help somebody else, but they aren't even taking care of themselves. So a drowning man can't save a drowning man. And there's another one in there somewhere. I can't. Oh, you know what? 90% of no one is acting. That's another one. And that goes back to my days in the Marine Corps when I had the dumbest person in the world sounding like a genius when he said this. Anyway, so those are my favorite quotes. And I'm, I'm going to get to these, this live stream here in a little, or to these chats here in a little bit. Uh, you know what? My Who influences me on YouTube? Now, first, I need to get to the first person that actually influenced me and that is Phil at Daddy Cooks and he kind of took me under his little wing for a while and kind of put me up on the YouTube game back in like 2014 ish somewhere in there and you know so he was my first influence and since then I mean I'm going to go in order of these influences uh, Diane at Booger 500 US you know I think that uh she came out with that air fryer, you know, she came out with the air fryer gang. Man, I was like the first, you know, I was like maybe one of the first people out there rocking that that wasn't like, you know, your regular cook, like, uh, you know, some of these other kind of channels that actually got up on it. And I think I'm the one that made it masculine to get into air fryer cooking because now everybody that said they weren't going to get into it is out there buying air fryers. And, uh, you know, these are the same people that was like, you know, acting like they weren't going to do it back when I first started out or acting like I was like selling out. So Diane Booger, I'm telling you, you are a huge influence on this channel. Uh, so anyway, she was like kind of one of the next influences there. And then there's a couple other people. And like I said, I'm going in order. Mike at Everyday Barbecue. He's, you know, I reach out to like some of these newer channels that are coming up. And Mike was one of these guys that uh, that I kind of, you know, go back and forth with a little bit and just talking YouTube type stuff. You know, he's like somebody that uh, I kind of do a lot of that with. And, you know, I can't forget, you know, my everyday conversation with uh, smoking and grilling with A.B., uh, you know, AB has a totally different look on this YouTube stuff than a lot of people. He's, you know, he's like one of those, you know, like smoking and grilling with AB. He's kind of like one of those like little autistic kids that can play the piano like real good. Like nobody should be this into this stuff as early as he is in it. And he, uh, he's definitely kind of really got like, he's, He's 
made me focus a lot more than I would have. And that's because he is as focused as he is. And, you know, for somebody that young in the game to really come in and kind of actually put me up on some game, uh, you know, he uh, definitely influenced me as well. So anyway, those are the people that influenced me. We're almost done with these questions and we can kind of get back into this uh, feed here. Uh, somebody asked me, how old is Mason? And ironic as it is, today is Mason's birthday. He just turned 21 years old. Uh, that gets me to another question where somebody asked, where's Mason been? And Mason, uh, uh, Mason is like trying to become a little apprentice electrician. Uh, so he's actually been working <clears throat> and uh, so he's not really around a lot of times, especially with winter coming up. I'll try to come home a little bit early, knock out some, uh, you know, knock out some recipes before the light goes down. A lot of people may not notice this. A lot of people will say, you know, it's your, you know, they might talk about the echo in my kitchen or the lighting. You know, some of the issues I have with my kitchen is our ceiling has to be going from maybe 12, you know, 10 feet to like 30 feet. I mean, it's a, it's huge. And then it kind of opens up into our living room or fam, whatever you call it. And that ceiling in there is high. So it's just a lot of echoing going on in there. So uh, anyway, I try to get Mason in as much as possible on those videos. Cause Mason is, you know, he's the man. Uh, only a few more questions. What is my favorite music? You know, I'm down with everything. I'll I'll go back to like some Led Zeppelin, you know, Jefferson, you know, I'll go back to Jefferson Airplane, Cream, Jimi Hendrix, you know, get into the old school rap, you know, Eric B and Rakim, uh, you know, Boogie Down Productions, you know, anyway. Uh, any of that, and then you know, I'll get a little sensitive, you know. Actually, you know, Evanescence that's another one I like. Anyway, I'm not gonna get too far into that. I like all music, uh, country, you know, maybe a little bit of Dwight Yoakam. I don't even know how I got into that, but you know, uh, that as well. Uh, somebody had asked. The cars that I own or something, I think they saw a Facebook post and asked what kind of car I have. You know, I have a, a Dodge Ram, you know, crew cab pickup because, you know, I got to keep it masculine. I am thinking about possibly selling that. I have a old school BMW, like a 2003 530i. And then last Christmas, I bought my wife, uh, and I don't even know what year it is. I bought her a BMW X5. So those are our cars. Biggest accomplishment. You know what? Today I just went over 6 million views. So throw up them M's. I was kind of happy to see that because I remember I was, you know, what? Ray Mac, you know, that's another kind of influence. And he's somebody I bounced stuff off of. Uh, I remember being on the phone with Ray Mac like maybe three years ago saying, you know, I can't wait to get that first million uh, views. And you know, I was trying to get it within my first year on YouTube and that, that happened and I think it happened, but he was like who I was on the phone with when that, you know, talking to him about that. Biggest accomplishment. Okay, this is the last question. Biggest accomplishment, obviously, uh, as far as YouTube goes, you know, that's always a moving target, but, you know, that six million did kind of hit me, almost had me cry like Diane on uh, the hot seat last night when I hit that six million this morning. So uh, that, and just to kind of get a little bit deeper, uh, for some reason I've always had a fear of being, a fear of being homeless. And I think it comes from that time when I first moved out here from California and I was like so broke, I had to, I tried to feed a cat dog food and uh, just, paid off, you know, my rental home. So 
I at least have one home that's paid for. So as long as I could pay for the taxes on that, I won't be homeless. So those are my accomplishments. Anyway, so I'm going to get back into this chat, kind of see what's going on. As far as some of these questions, do I have Instagram and Twitter? I do. You know, I don't even know what Instagram is for. I post pictures on there, but I don't know what the purpose is. But it's like no hippie barbecue. I think it's the same on Twitter. Uh, I think I just added some moderators there. I can't tell if that's the case. I think I got 